what's going on guys? Uh, me and Tucker at the dog park right now. Uh, figured, <laughs> you just hit my camera buddy. Figured why not, it's a good opportunity to film a little video. Uh, so today is gonna be a uh, winter at EDC. Uh, I'm gonna try to hurry this up because he's kind of getting away from me, but uh, let's start with um, my pockets, I guess. So um, not much has really changed uh, from my EDC. Um, I added a couple things. <laughs> I added a couple things mostly for the winter. So uh, we'll start off with the wallet, I guess. So uh, the first EDC video I had, I had the Travax, whoop, Travax Ascent wallet. Right now I'm rocking their uh, OG wallet. I believe they don't sell these anymore because they came out with the OG 2.0s, um, but I picked these up while they were on sale. Um, but check out the 2.0s, they look pretty sweet. Uh, this wallet's pretty pretty nice. Bottle opener, um, a little extra lanyard hole or carabiner hole, um, some paracord right here, and it's got Velcro, so you can expand it for however many cards you want. I tried to convince a couple of my friends to buy this while they were on sale. Um, some of them have been having issues. I'm not gonna name any names. <clears throat> Gene, they had issues like taking stuff out. I think they just had it too tight. If you just uh, put the Velcro a little bit loose, loose enough to hold your cards, but, um, sorry, tight enough to hold your cards, but loose enough to still use your thumb to slide the cards out, you should be all right. Um, next, in that same pocket, I got a new knife. Uh, I'm not big on spending hundreds of dollars on knives. Eventually I wanna get like a, like a paramilitary two or a bench made knife, but cheapo knives work fine for me. I beat the crap out of my knives. This one's new, I just got this year from Ace Hardware. They had it on sale for a couple bucks, so. Decent blade. This is probably one of my longest blades that I have. Um, a little bit thick. Uh, it's a, you know, frost cutlery made in China blade, but I can beat the crap out of this and it's not something that's gonna break the bank. In that same pocket, I'm carrying a Brickle lip balm. Uh, it is winter, lips get pretty chapped. <laughs> I always carry a lip balm with me uh, just so that I'm not cracking lips all day. Um, that's it for that right pocket. On the left side, I am carrying the i3T EOS. This is the newest EDC light that I have. Uh, I believe it's eight lumens and then 150 lumens on a AAA battery. So maybe maybe it's eight, five and 180 actually. Five lumens and then 180 lumens, which is pretty nice. It's all I really need for an EDC. I'm not looking for a fighting light. It's got momentary on, and then you can just click to uh, keep it on, which is nice. Um, that's it for that left pocket. I am filming on my phone. That's a iPhone uh, 7 Plus. Uh, so phone hasn't changed. I actually got it replaced because it wasn't charging anymore. So I got a, I got a new old phone. Uh, on my hand here, I've got a silicone band. I picked this up from Amazon. It's a Country Bound brand. Um, this one is in blue. It's a pack of like six for eight bucks, which is really nice. I work in a hospital, so I carry this around. I don't really like wearing my, my ring at work. Uh, on my wrist here, a lot of people ask if I have a G-Shock. Nope, I got that young F-Shock. Uh, the fake shock from Walmart, it's 20 bucks. I love Walmart watches. If I'm not wearing my Citizen watch that's like uh, that I got as a wedding gift for my wife, I'm usually wearing some cheap Walmart watch, um, mostly because I always bang my wrist up on stuff, so uh, I don't really want to scratch anything that's super expensive. Um, this I wear to work. I also have some other um, cheaper watches from Walmart that I wear when I'm at work, at work or working out. On my pants, I'm still rocking the uh, Trayvac cinch belt, black on black, black buckle with the black belt. Uh, it's really nice. Um, there's a lot of questions on my other video about whether it um, maintains its tightness. It does it ever loosen up? No, it does not. This thing is like a crock pot. You set it and forget it. Uh, <laughs> so stupid. No, I, I haven't had any experiences with this thing loosening up at all, which is really nice. My back right pocket. Uh, 
I have my car keys. I keep my car keys on a separate keychain. Um, that way my house keys are always on me. Um, and then if my wife ever needs to use, <laughs> whoa, if my wife ever needs to use the car, I can just hand her this keychain. It's got a bottle opener, got my gym pass on it, and an extra house key. And then on my hip, I have the Trayvax Keton. As you can see, I'm a big Trayvax fan. Uh, their Keton, it's getting used and abused, which is really nice. You got some patina on the leather and everything. Uh, it's got a carabiner clip to clip to your pants. And it's the perfect length to tuck into your back uh, pocket. I've got several house keys here. And then I've also got a Kershaw keychain multi-tool uh, hooked up to a small carabiner on that key ring. This I actually use more often than I thought I would. Uh, Phillips head, a pry bar, um, bottle opener. Pretty cool. This always stays on my hip. Two belt loop right there and tucks right into that back pocket and it sits there with my other car keys. I think that's it for right now. That's just a couple uh, new additions um, I didn't talk about in the last video. The ring, the wallet, uh, sorry, the ring, the new wallet, uh, new knife, and the watch. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.